Ever since it has occurred to us that Earth might not be the only place where life nurtures, we have been madly chasing the evidence of extraterrestrial life. The result of this desperation, you ask? Creation of high-end equipment like Mars Perseverance rover, Hubble Space Telescope, and of course the star of the show, James Webb Space Telescope or JWST. Since its launch, JWST has constantly been on a mission to explore outer space left and right, and pursue any piece of evidence that suggests the existence of life beyond Earth. From hunting biosignatures to spotting the most distant galaxy cluster ever seen, JWST is constantly discovering something new. In its first, the Webb Telescope has recently discovered that rocky alien worlds are probably possessing large amounts of water even before they form. Now, let me tell you why this is a big deal and what does this mean for the ongoing hunt for extraterrestrial life. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. As we all know that water is an essential source to host life on Earth, scientists apply a similar logic to find life in the universe. This has triggered the search for exoplanets that fall under the habitable zone and contain some amount of water. However, many scientists continue to debate how water must have reached the Earth's surface. According to previous research, newborn Earth received a lot of its water from water-bearing asteroids, which bombarded our planet's surface during its formation. Now, scientists have discovered a piece of evidence, suggesting that water must be one of the components available at the time of birth, which come together to form a rocky planet. Recently, researchers have concentrated on a young star PDS-70, which is located nearly 370 light-years away from Earth and is just around 5.4 million years. If we compare it with the age of our Sun, it is around 4.6 billion years old. By using JWST's MID infrared instrument, scientists have discovered water in the form of hot vapor at around 625 degrees Fahrenheit near the center of the planet forming disk of gas and dust, encircling the star, PDS-70. The study's lead author and astrophysicist, Julia Perotti said, our result shows that water is present in the inner disk of this iconic system, where planets similar to Earth may be assembling. This discovery is a big deal because, in our solar system, this central zone lies where a number of rocky planets formed, including Earth. By observing it, we can trace back how the planets in our solar system formed and what their chemical composition was before they fully formed, says Perotti. The new findings suggest that any rocky planets forming in the central zone of PDS-70 would consist of a substantial amount of water and ultimately adapt to habitability later. Now, if you wonder how water must have ended up in PDS-70, there are two possibilities stated by the researchers. One explanation suggests that the water present in PDS-70 must have been sourced from a water-rich nebula that formed the star. Another possibility is that the outer rims of PDS-70 must be penetrated by oxygen and hydrogen gas, which later must have combined to form water vapor. If you think this is a one-off instance where JWST hinted toward extraterrestrial life, then you are awfully wrong. Let me take you through one of the recent fascinating incidents. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have discovered evidence of complex organic molecules, similar to smoke or smog, in a distant galaxy. This is the oldest known example of complex organic molecules in the universe found by humans. And what it has done is that it has pushed back the old record for detections like this by about an extra billion years. I don't know about you, but to me, it is fascinating, 
and at the same time terrifying that these discoveries at the edge of the universe are changing the foundation of our cosmology. This is a mighty discovery, and here is what it changes. Okay, first things first, these chemicals have been detected within an early galaxy that formed when the universe was about 10% of its current age. The carbon-based molecules, technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are found in oil and coal deposits on Earth, as well as in smog. But what is the significance of this finding? Justin Spiker, the lead astronomer of the study, makes it very clear that the molecules we found aren't simple things like water or carbon dioxide. We're talking about big, floppy molecules with dozens or hundreds of atoms in them. Isn't it remarkable that the universe could make really large and complex molecules very quickly after the Big Bang, when our models suggest that they couldn't have? Given the extreme distance of the galaxy, the light the astronomers detected began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. The universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old. We are looking at the beginning of the formation of the universe as we see it today. But here's the catch. It is because of Webb that we have been able to detect these complex organic molecules, pushing back the old record for detections like this by about an extra billion years. Imagine if we could look farther back in time, is it possible that we find more of these molecules, and that too, extremely close to the Big Bang? Where does that leave our science, our cosmological model? Now here's the thing, previous efforts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only tell if the chemicals were there or not. With Webb's resolution, we can now see actual details of where within a galaxy the molecules are located. In this early galaxy, called SPT0 for 1847, the presence of these molecules is not uniform, and the reason for this remains to be explained. Also, this discovery proves that it is possible for galaxies to form in the early universe where much was thought to be happening. What is fascinating, however, is that the galaxy was already just as massive, and its stars have formed just as much carbon and oxygen as our own Milky Way, even though it's only a tenth the age of our galaxy. As humanity ventures forth into the unknown, armed with knowledge and a thirst for understanding, we are humbled by the magnitude and complexity of the cosmos. And with each breakthrough, we inch closer to deciphering the secrets that lie hidden among the stars. With the way Webb is performing, it is only a matter of time before the universe shines in a new light. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.